Hi Neil again, a nice way to finish off <coughs> a Friday afternoon, or finish off the week. So I've been asked to do a damp and timber survey on a property, with the property is built around about 1900. So uh, there's been some debate as to whether the property will benefit from a damp proof course or not. So what I've done is I've just managed to pop up a floorboard in this location. And then looking across into the party wall below that course of uh, red engineering bricks, I hope you can see that there's a, a physical, a bitumen physical damp proof course, or bitumen felt damp proof course, sorry, in that corner. And it's for that very reason that I know I've said this before, but I don't know if anybody's actually listening. That wherever possible now the client was the vendor was reluctant for me to take up floorboards and i said i would only do so if i was confident that i could put them back exactly as they were but i just thought you know this thing about it's an easy cop out i'm just going to move my light and there you are but this is the view you get once you actually manage to get floorboards up you know, it gives a wealth of information which is beneficial to the client who is buying the property. As it turns out, the floor timbers are generally sound and no significantly elevated moisture levels. But you can just see this is the benefit of actually just that little bit of extra effort. It took me all of a few minutes to take the floorboard up and it will go back down exactly as it was intended. So uh, just another one. I thought it was a lovely little example of what you know, the, the benefits of actually just making that little bit of ex extra effort is the oversight, nice and dry, decent subfloor void. We've got three nine by six air bricks on the front elevation, which is what we're looking at there. There is a bit of dust and debris uh, around the air bricks. Obviously, I don't know if we can see it, but there's a fair bit of dust and debris and the aperture which comes through the wall. So I will recommend to the client that she gets a builder or joiner uh, just to just to clean out in between the well, see where the air bricks coming through because it will be choked to a degree. There's still a movement I can feel that from the point of I'm actually inspecting the floor. So there you go. You know this is a 1900 built property and we've got a perfectly functioning bitumen damp proof course. And believe it or not, I mean, externally, they, they have had a chemical damp proof course installed, uh, which the vendor was very quick to point out. We've already had a damp proof course installed. I thought, well, you're a bit late. It was actually installed around about 120 years ago. So there you go. I just thought it was a nice little one to finish the week off on. Always worth making that little bit of effort. Okay. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye now.